So moving on, uh, the next thing that we want to look at is we want to go to the contact page. And we want to go into the contact page here and we want to add two things. We're going to add a map and a form. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off with the, the uh, embedded Google Maps using an iframe. So I'm going to go inside here uh, where it says in between you know, map and end map. Um, on my code it is on line 24 here, should be for yours as well. And first thing I want to do is go off to, to Google and grab a map. Um, so I can go to maps.google.com and let's type in the, the address of our company. Um, it could be anywhere. Um, let's say, um, uh, well, we'll say uh, Hoboken. How about that? Hoboken, New Jersey. And probably for your business, you would put in an actual address. I'm just going to put in this place. And we can basically zoom in to make this look like whatever we want here. I'll zoom in a little closer, and then I'll center this little A here that has this flag. So normally you would find your business, and then you would select it. OK. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to um, capture this information and embed it. Um, so at least at the time of filming this, um, Google has a link here in the upper left-hand corner. And if you click that link, the first thing it does is it tries to give you um, a URL link you can link to on the top here. If you look down here in the bottom section, it says paste HTML to embed in a website, and they give you an iframe here. Um, if you'd like to customize it and adjust the settings of this iframe, your best bet is to click this um, link here that says Customize and Preview Embedded Map. And that'll pop up a little window like this. And you can see here that you can select small, medium, large, or you can put in a specific custom width and height. Um, so this is fine. We'll just leave the default um, here, which is um, medium, which is 425 by 350. That's perfectly fine. Um, for the width and height for now. And what, we, what we'll be doing later on is uh, when we start getting into our responsive layouts for different devices, we're going to actually change the width of this um, depending on the device. So for now, we'll just go ahead and use this default setting here. Um, you can also switch between um, satellite view and earth view and terrain view. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select terrain view because I like that. Why not? And then if we come down here, you can see there's code that you can copy and paste down in this section here. So I can highlight all of this. It's quite a lot, actually, um, all this code all the way from here up to here. And then I'll copy it. And I'll do um, Command-C on Mac to copy or Control-C on Windows. And then I'm going to come back in here. And I can just paste this in here. I'm going to do Command-V on Mac which is, of course, Control-V on Windows, and paste that bad boy in there. Okay, So that throws the iframe in. And we can save this. And let's go back to the browser and check that out and see if we had any luck with that guy. Um, so if I did this correctly, I should see that map pop up. Let's come back in here and go to the contact page. And there it is. Awesome. So I can show uh, the location. Um, people can click this and move this around. They can select directions. They can use these tools to zoom in and zoom out and move about the map. Um, you can also click a, a link that, that appears below it that says View Larger Map, which will take them into Google Maps. OK. So many sites give you um, the ability to use iframes to embed content. Other examples are YouTube. Um, you can embed YouTube videos via an iframe just by copying and pasting the code they provide. Uh, Vimeo as well is another good site for grabbing the uh, video content and pasting it into your site. Um, and there's all sorts of widgets for Twitter and Foursquare and all sorts of social sites. Okay, so let's jump back to the code now.